I'm Peyton. I'm Cameron. I'm Lily. I'm Katie. And we're going to take you on a tour of our leadership school. Come on. At Park Elementary, we're all about making and succeeding goals. As you can see, our second grade class has reached their goal of 93% with 96%. We track our goals every month on a chart outside our classroom. When one of our students get caught using the seven habits, they get a golden panther paw and they get to put our name on the board. If they win, then they get to have breakfast with, one of, with some of our community leaders. This is our um, tracker for the Golden Panther Paw Board. Um, our goal is 80% or higher for um, Golden Panther Paws, and we are at 49. I mean, look at this. The seven habits are everywhere in our school. Come on. Even our school rules are about the seven habits. So I had a unique experience. I came to Park Elementary in year three of The Leader in Me, and I had no knowledge of The Leader in Me, no background with it, so I was playing catch up, reading everything I could, working close, closely with my teachers to, to get up to speed as fast as I could, but it didn't take long for me to realize that this, that this program needed to move forward at this school, and so with the help of my teachers, we were really able to make a charge that, that year, and we actually became a lighthouse school in our third year of being a leader in me school, which is quite an accomplishment. We count them down. Yeah. We'll count from three. Help us. Three, two, one. Yeah. We feel very responsible for the education of the kids in the classroom. And part of the leader in me is learning to release some of that control and letting the kids get involved into starting with small procedures and working to doing bigger things and helping making decisions in the classroom actually made things a lot more enjoyable. Um, watching kids feel like they had control over the situation. Student-led conferences are where the children come and they have their binders on their desk, their leadership binders, and they come in. The teacher stands in the background and they go and they walk us through their you know, their spelling and their math and their behavior and all of this and they have it documented with graph charts and they've learned how to track their data and see where they're going and see where they need to make changes and it's really neat. It, it's really good for their little self-esteem to be the one to say, look at how good I'm doing, instead of the teacher saying, oh yeah, they're doing a good job. It's really good for them to show you that and they take a lot of pride in being able to sit down with mom and dad and show them the steps that they've made with their binders. It's really fun. The main thing that we teach is really that the ch children are, are in charge of themselves and as they learn the habits and get familiar with them then everything just becomes kind of more student directed as far you know as the teaching and the student accountability things like that. Um, with integration um, it just kind of comes natural. At first it was a little bit difficult because we would teach the habits kind of secluded but now that we've been doing it for five, six years, it becomes more of just a daily conversation. It's just kind of a natural flow and a natural part of the classroom. One of the things it did is it gave us all a common language. Um, and that was very helpful. As we taught the kids the seven habits, we noticed almost immediately a change in the behaviors of our kids. Um, instead of conflict, these kids were trying to solve, resolve their conflicts. It was not uncommon to hear students in the hallway say, well, let's make this a win-win situation or out on the playground. And teachers would remind the kids when they were you know, having conflict, let's, how can we make this a win-win? And the kids would, would talk it over and resolve those situations most of the time. So habit number one is be proactive. And habit number one means be in charge. So in other words, it means that you need to be responsible for what your for your own actions and not for others. Hi, I'm Matthew Cook and Diamond third grade of one poor elementary. My habit is number two and it's begin with the end of mind. I'm Josie and my habit is put first things first and first things first pretty much means to do important things first and then do not so important things after and Example of this is like doing homework before video games or playing with friends. 
I've been, I am new to school and I've been learning these habits. Um, I'm doing a habit four, think one win. I, I started to learn it and I started to understand what they are and then I've been using them and at home, here, yeah. My name is Cameron Starley and I'm doing habit five, seek first to understand then to be understood. Mostly you listen to your teacher, she has to understand what she's telling you, she has to work it out and then she can tell us what we're supposed to do and so we can understand after she understands. Hi, my name is Hannah and when you synergize you um, work together with other people and that's what you do. You um, have, you take a part and you give people jobs to do a project. Sharpen the saw means like um, basically like relieving your stress and um, my mom even does it. My, my family does it. And they barely even know what Snaple School District is. <laughs> well, I don't, don't they know that? But um, we just recently did a teddy bear service project. So the whole PSL had to be proactive and at, right after the announcements, we had to come in here, cap them all up, get the scores for each class to make sure that we're on track and that we're getting the right scores. With begin with the end of my day, you will work for the well, you will set a plan before you and then you start to working to get to your goal. My favorite part about this habit is because you get to do all of the important things like homework and science projects first and then you go and play for the rest of the day until your mother calls you in. So say this, like you're doing a project and someone didn't get to do it and you think when win and then you like, you think before you do it and so you wanted him to join with you and yeah. My little brother, well he doesn't really listen because my mom's telling him something. She says go clean the living room, then he goes clean it and she doesn't get to finish. He'll say, then she'll go say, go do your bed because he knows how to do his own bed. But he doesn't do his own bed because he didn't listen to the instructions first. Um, at school, I synergize with the third graders and we play, we make snow forts at recess and there's gatherers and there's builders. The builders stack all the blocks on top of each other and adjust everything to make it look like it's supposed to be. And the gatherers find all the snow blocks. Um, I've had a lot of experiences with Sharp and the Saw, but I've had one that I love the most, and it's soccer. And I like it because it's it it's like calms you down whenever it, whenever it, when and anything's like stress or anything, it calms you down. And I like to synergize while doing Habit Seven. We had teachers from the junior high tell us we can tell when students come from Park School because they ask us what they can do. You know, these are my goals. These, what, what can you, will you help me do this? Instead of waiting for the teacher to initiate those things. Even in our assemblies, you know, the principal and the teachers half the time aren't even planning those anymore or they're not running them. The kids are running them and they're doing a great job at it and learning great leadership skills all along the way. Here is one of our first grade mission statements. Here's one of our first graders. Now, we are leaders who follow the seven habits. We work hard and help others. We face our fears and never give up. We are nice and have a great attitude. We will try our best and have fun. We are a dream team. Usually, most people think the wigs are something that you wear in your head. But here at Park School, WIG stands for Widely Important Goal. Here are some of the WIGs that our kindergarten students made up. Knowing numbers from 1 to 20. Here are some excellence in prep. Now we're going to go to the other side of the school. Come on. This year, our school has started something new. Each month, the students draw a picture about one of the habits.
Each month we have a victory assembly celebrating three kids from each class. You can get victory in three different things, language arts, math, and leadership. Welcome to Leadership Academy. This is a class that we get to spend time in once a week. Let's go see what they're working on now. Today we're working on habit four, think win-win. We're going to be passing around the ball and using and making a story and using everybody's ideas. Even our bulletin boards have to do with the seven habits. Here we have our fifth grade doing snow globes with their favorite habit on it or what they're going to work on. This is our PSL Shines Bright Board. PSL stands for Park Student Leaders. We, we, voted, a, we voted to change it at the beginning of the year from Park Student Council to Park Students Leaders or PSL. We even have matching t-shirts. This is our Leader Wall of Fame. This is our local leaders that have come to support Park Elementary. I think it's looking at the small successes and building upon those. And I think if you can keep that in mind, you'll keep making that progress towards what you need to do. And it's really looking at that big picture. What did, why did you do it? What's at the end? And really what's at the end is we want kids to have great life skills, to be successful in their lives. For instance, I had a fifth grader two years ago that was able to go to the Leader in Me Symposium and stand in front of 300 people and he was part of a Q&A panel so they were throwing questions at him that he wasn't, they didn't prep him for, he was answering them on the fly. And at the end of that, about an hour later, he had two people, one from Utah and one gentleman from California walk up to him, give him his business card and say, when you turn 16, call me because I have a job waiting for you. So the doors that it's opening for our students is incredible. You have to set a goal before you try to reach one, because if you try to reach one before you set a goal, you don't know what you're working for. I like this school because I was, I came here, I think it was, yeah, I was in first grade and I've gone here all the way till third grade. That's why my mom and I, I have a couple family members that work here, but it's the best school I've ever had. I would say get yourself out there and try to like synergize with people and just have fun. Like I said before, we've seen a lot of positive changes, not only in our students, but our staff has changed. It's changing the, the way our parents interact with their kids, both at home and at school. And I know without the buy-in from our teachers and the love they have for it, that this would have never got to the level that it's at. So I would personally like to think our teachers and our entire staff at Park Elementary for realizing the potential and also seeing the potential in our students and believing in it and helping our students achieve the level they're currently at. 